For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone talking some Wildcat women's hoops. You can hear behind us that uh, practice has already begun. Coach Julie Goodenough in her second season. Uh, just give us an idea of what's already happened and what the next few days and weeks are going to entail for your team. Uh, our team did a great job in preseason, and the, our preseason was, was pretty short uh, with the Division One rules. We got to start practice on September 30th. So. Uh, We've had several days under our belt of full basketball practice and uh, with a team with uh, uh, nine freshmen, there's just a lot of teaching to do, but they've done a tremendous job uh, for me out here on the court. They've done a great job in the weight room for Coach Washington, and uh, we're just really pleased where we are right now in the season. You've got some players who can do some things that you can't teach though, right? You've got some really talented young players in here. We do. We've got some great athletes. Um, Lizzie and Susie Denver, our, our sisters from Lubbock Coronada, are tremendous athletes. That provides a little more athleticism for us. We've got two really good freshman point guards that have come in, and Chelsea No and Alexis Mason, that kind of have just developed games of their own. They're they're really good uh, just handling the ball and getting the team into the offense. Uh, I, I tell you, the the most exciting thing for me, I think, with just the progress we've made through preseason and this, this first week of practice is just seeing Renata, Whitney, and Mimi step up and just take the reins of this team. And uh, that's that's been awesome for me to see them do that. And, you know, they were kind of like freshmen for me last year, being my first year here. And uh, you can just tell that they've been with me for a season. They're leading the team through every drill, uh, through every workout that we've had. And I've, I've really been proud of them for that. A lot of new faces, as you mentioned, and some familiar faces like Mackenzie Langford, uh, Kenzie Newman have moved on, uh, and of course Kelsey Smith, who was a really good player for, for three seasons here for ACU, she moved on with graduation. Renata, you called her last year oftentimes a stud, yeah. uh, and, and she really is in a lot of ways the glue of this team, isn't she? Not just on the court, but off as well? Yeah, we're really proud of Renata. She's in the first ACU class of nursing students, and uh, so she's got a, a super heavy load academically, and uh, about every day she comes in to tell us about a, a really good grade she made on an exam or a quiz, and so she's really excelling in the classroom and, and putting in a lot of work there, probably more than she ever has had to. Uh, so she has a tough day, which um, as soon as her day ends, we try to start practice. And so she's going hard from about 6.30 every morning with the clinicals and comes straight to basketball practice. And so my definition for her being a stud last year definitely rolls over to this season. I mean, already she has a huge load on her off the court and, and she's really getting it done for us on the court as well. Really impressive. Fans see the games at night. They don't see the practices. They certainly don't see the students going to classes. Right and especially for an upper class person like uh, like Renata. Uh, you mentioned some of the new players. You've got some low post players um, in Sydney Shellstead and Aaron Maxwell, whom I know you're expecting a lot of this year. Yeah, they both had tremendous high school careers. They're good scoring post players. Uh, both can shoot the three-pointer. Uh, both are good back to the basket players for us, and they just provide a, a little extra size for us, which I think will will really benefit us when we get into our D1 games. Uh, they're, they're pretty average size, I think, for the Division I uh, rank, so we're glad to have them, and they've they've come out and did a tremendous job for us. They obviously have a lot to learn, um, but uh, are hungry to do so, and great listeners, and, and I just told them at the end of practice today that, you know, we just really appreciate seeing them adjust every time we correct something, and, and those two in particular, they come with a good skill set, um, but I think we're going to see vast improvement just as the weeks come. A lot, um, uh, a lot to follow from last year in your first season. You won a Lone Star Conference title. You can't win officially win a championship, a tournament championship. You can't make the Southland Conference tournament for the next few years. You can do very well in the standings. There's no reason you can't do that. But before you get to the Southland Conference, you've got some tough non-conference games coming up, uh, including with a game against a familiar face in, in Krista Gerlich over at UTA. Tell us about your non-conference schedule. Uh, we've got a great, great schedule. Um, actually, our first four games are at home, so we, we're we excited about that. We open up on November 8th at home against Texas Lutheran. Uh, then after the home stand, we go on the road. We play at UTA, which is my alma mater, yes. playing against Krista Gerlich, a good friend of mine, and so that'll be a, a tough challenge. Uh, both of us taking over programs uh, just early in, in our, our careers there. But um, And then we 
are at TCU, we're at Tulsa. Uh, we end the fall semester in a tournament at Texas Tech. So we think it's a really challenging non-conference schedule, uh, but will really prepare us, I think, for the, our Southland opponents. And speaking of the Southland, have you had a chance to peek ahead at, at what you will face once you get to the Southland? Uh, Southland overall is pretty athletic, uh, pretty fast style of play, and, and I think that we are recruiting towards that. We've got some speed and some athleticism this year, but I think that's something we're going to look forward to in our upcoming recruiting classes. Um, but Stephen F. Austin uh, returns their entire starting lineup, and uh, I think they're going to be really tough. they got a couple of of all-conference players returning. Um, kind of the, the powerhouses the last couple of years, uh, Sam Houston and Oral Roberts graduated some some big horses on their team, so we'll see how they kind of recoup from that. But uh, across the board, I mean, it looks like it's going to be very competitive. We're excited about uh, just going to new venues, uh, traveling to Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and I'm sure they're all excited about coming to Abilene as well, so it's, it's going to be fun. You have some good books on tape to listen to. you got some long bus trips coming up. Yes, uh, I, I really need to watch movies movies on the bus so uh, you know I, I start pulling out uh, movies from home I haven't seen in a while we get on Netflix so we do lots of movies on the bus should be a lot of fun this year it, it's exciting isn't it, it with is. with everything I mean last year was great too but, but there is a buzz this year isn't there absolutely and, and last year was awesome it was a great first year at ACU capturing that Lone Star Conference championship uh, and then going into this year with the new logo with Adidas uh, division one it is really exciting Let's see those kickers now you got some nice looking shoes they are good Good. Yes, okay. All right. For Coach Julie Good Enough, I'm Grant Boone. The season, the women's basketball season, begins in just about one month's time. For ACUSports.com, thanks for watching.